like an Australia fresh apple. Number City, Number Life, Radio City, 105.8 FM. This is Rumi Nalal, basically like Sir Roti and Dal. How's it going Chennai? It's a great day today, 42 degrees and we've got a sultry show in hand. If someone talks 19 to the dozen and still makes sense, can mouth clever lines without much effort and enunciate words with clarity, he is halfway through the RJ lane. That's the puja, that's the guru, who has made me anything that I am today. Okay, well, I really don't know what to um, speak about myself, but um, clocking back uh, into the 80s, I'm a little old. Back to life, back to reality. Most of you guys who are watching this probably wouldn't have been born when, uh, uh, you know, when I finished my schooling, and uh, that I did in Don Bosco, in Egmore, and uh, Every parent at that point of time said, no, you got to be a doctor or an engineer and uh, so I did engineering. I went to Bangalore and um, studied engineering, uh, chemical engineering at uh, RV College of Engineering, which um, uh, also had uh, Anil Kumble as my senior. He was a very intelligent student. I was not at all in that league. But uh, I did it for about four years and then suddenly something just went totally berserk in me. Uh, it was when a professor came to class and he lifted a, a pipe and he said, uh, students in this pipe there is this much of tension. So I asked him, how did you find out that there was that much of tension or whatever the, the readings were. He said, no, this was a law which was written about 100 years back or 200 years back. Something told me that, you know, I was in the wrong place because uh, uh, it, it was just the wrong place, so I walked out, much to my family's uh, disgust. Nobody spoke to me for a couple of years. And then, in 1990, when television was starting to open up, this was 1991, uh, I got a job from uh, a very wonderful uh, person called Mr. Alphonse Roy and his wife, Radha. And he said, why don't you be a television correspondent? So I asked him, can I get 1,500 rupees to pay my cigarettes and my expenses? He said, yeah, you don't worry about that as long as you come for work. So I started off as a television correspondent. I did stories for the India show, way before it was Amul India show. I did stories for the Z Travel show. I did for Surabi. So I was doing a lot of stories and then it came to a point that I was getting bored. I get bored very easily and that's my biggest drawback. So I asked my boss that I needed something more challenging. So he said, why don't you do wildlife? So there I was sitting on a tree trying to shoot elephants, tigers, bisons, you name it. And I did it for about uh, two years, two to three years. Till I said that uh, since I had left engineering and I'm doing all this, right now I'm just a 12th standard pass. So let me put this down in education, uh, put my education down in writing. So I traveled to Melbourne and I studied my film and radio studies in Melbourne. Awesome place, great way of education. It was a great experience, but in that, course which I did for about two years there was uh, an elective uh, subject called radio and I said I'm not going to do this subject because radio in India was nothing at all at that point of time but my professor said for some reason that uh, no you have a good radio friendly voice and uh, you should be doing this subject and it will be fruitful to you so I did it and my professor I won't forget him Mr. Brian Wise I learnt radio, I worked in turn in a radio station in Australia and uh, after that um, came back to India, did nothing because I didn't want to run uh, behind an elephant or a bison so I was just generally sitting at home till a phone call came. One of my friends called me up and said they wanted uh, a few more presenters or RJs as we call it today. So I gave my voice, uh, they liked it, I don't know why but they liked it and uh, by 4.30 I was given a call saying that I needed to do a show at 7 o'clock because the RJ who was supposed to do that show had a health problem, so I needed to fill in. So I went in and I did that show, and it's been now 12 years since I've been in radio. I've never, ever given up that medium. What is happening in radio today, it's uh, very immature, where you have uh, a song playing, you have a very silly contest about, you know, who's the actor of this film and then you get some cap or some t-shirt or something. So this is at a very, uh, what would I say, a very immature level of radio. So there's a lot more which can go on radio, which is not 
there in India today. The radio is a very challenging career. You don't need necessarily, you, you do not need to be just a presenter in a radio station. You can be a producer, you can be a copywriter, you can be a sound engineer, you, you can be a celebrity coordinator, you can be a program coordinator, you can be a regional pro programming director. There, there are just you know, immense opportunities. Your communication skills must be 100%. You have only five second, seconds for you to impact the listener because he or she, if she's driving or at your home, can just flip the tuner and go to the next station and there you've lost, you, there you've lost your listener. Okay, I want to join radio, what's the money's like? You know, in, in the days when we started, we used to get paid 125 rupees. A CD used to cost us about 599 rupees, so there was just no equation there. But we did it for passion. So if you want to join the medium, do it for the passion because money flows. Now coming to the point as to how much money will flow, well a beginner can take home anywhere between 10 and 15,000 and if you have the experience, you can touch anywhere between 5, and, uh, five to 6 lakhs a month. So go ahead, um, scan the net, uh, browse the sites, uh, uh, figure out which college has radio studies and just go for it. This is not a law book, this is, uh, this is actually um, a lot of mails, close to about 17,000 mails that I have received from people who listen to me. I would say I wouldn't call them fans, I would just say people who are my friends, um, people who listen to me and uh, this is a compilation of uh, well all mails from uh, different kinds of people, also from celebrities who have heard me and uh, I keep this. Um, for my posterity because when I grow old I can tell my son or my daughter that you know when I was young I did a little bit of radio and this was my medal. How different is radio presenting and being a voiceover artist? Well not all radio jockeys are voiceover artists and not all voiceover artists are radio jockeys. A gift of nature, a product of Girijan's labor. It's packed with health and nutrition. In red and white it is available in all departmental stores. Very few can do both. I don't know whether that's a plus point or whatever, but um, I, I can do both and I've been doing that for, for close to a decade. Now uh, in Radio Jockey, it's, in Radio Jockeying, it's about your personality. It's about what you bring to the table. It's about you being yourself, talking to the listener, making a friend. But in a voiceover, the difference is, supposing I was to do a Ford Fiesta ad or a Giraj and Rajma as you've just seen it, I have to be according to that product. Wake up to the aromas of the South, the Southern aromas of the Residency Tars, Teenagar. I am not myself, so I need to modulate, I need to throw my voice, I need to understand who the, the ad or the commercial or whatever is going out to and that's the, that, that's the line that an artist needs to draw. Being a good radio jockey, well, be yourself, be a good person, have a nice personality, keep your attitude on air, in that I mean when you're in the studio. Give all that attitude that you need to do, be wacky, be wild, be, be weird, be bizarre, be you know spontaneous, that's alright. But as long as it's on air, because you know something, some people, I know many hosts who've carried on that attitude from on air into off air and somewhere down the line it's not been taken well. So, you know, this is a profession, keep it like a profession and I hope uh, new coming, um, you know, the upcoming or the forthcoming hosts which Chennai will have, uh, will understand this and uh, make sure that this is a job, I do my job when I put the fader up and talk to the city of Chennai, I am myself and after that radio is all through, I'm, I'm, I'm not a part of, you know, that, that gig that I was doing. This is Rumi Nalal, basically like so Roti and Dal. When she meets up with the friends, always recommends. Oh, wait a minute, you have dal roti? Hai. Yes, ma'am. You have Chinese? Hai. Yes, ma'am. You have European? Hai. Yes, ma'am. So sweet. We have that also, ma'am. Today, Rumi Nalal is not worried about her roti and...